Hello guys, this is Alf from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode on how to add. Today we're going to look after a new script for Docker called Homepage. This has changed a lot of things in regards of Docker. Let's have a look how simple it is to install using Portainer. Before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a new video. Now, without any delay, let's go and have a look at the homepage. Now, I already got on my GitHub here on a gist the code that you need. I'm going to walk you through on how to install it. Now, before we do that, let's go to the GitHub page for the home page, as you can see here. Again, all the information links in the description below. So it's github.com benelps slash homepage or slash benelps slash uh, homepage. And here you can find all the information you need. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to show you how it's installed. Again, all the information, the features are in the actual page. Okay. We're going to use this for the installation. As you can see, it's more or less um, like this one here. Right. But we actually change a, a, a few things to make sure that we have a permissions. For example, we're going to use the user ID. And again, I'm going to show you how to get that as well using SSH. We go to SSH to the Docker, all right, to the server. Then we got the port and we got the volumes. Then I'm going to show you how to use SSH to log in inside the config folder, where you can actually change the YAML file to get the home page look the way you want it. Okay. Again, all the informations are here. Okay. Now let's go to the port here. And as you can see, I already got the home page installed on port 3000. And now this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's very simple. You can have the actual um, dark mode or light mode. You can change the background colors if you want to. And all the section in here can be changed in the YAML file. Again, I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Now let's go back to the portainer. And I'm going to go to my stacks as you want to create a new stack. I already got the stack created. I'm going to the editor. And as you can see here, we got the information that we just uh, copied from the main page here. All right. That's all I done. And I also add the ID, the, you know, for the user in that case will be here. Now I got zero, right? As admin or root, as you say, rather than admin, sorry. And how you got to do this is if you open the SSH and you log in, all you got to do really is type ID. And as you can see, Hal got 1000. I mean, I can change this to 1000, but I have put it again at zero for root. If you got, um, if your username is a sudo, so that will be okay, 1000. Otherwise, you need actually the root. Or you can actually use 27 for sudo if you wanted to, right? But in this case, I'm going to use zero and zero. This is for my installation, okay? Now, I left here 1000, but again, guys, change it as you need to change it. And don't put any numbers there. Just make sure you do like I did here. Type ID and, you know, just write the right digits, okay? You need the UID and the GID, okay? And it gets done in this way, okay? This is UID and this is GID, okay? So once that's been done, let's go back to Portainer and you change it as you wish. Again, the original one doesn't come up with, with the volume. Make sure you got the volume correct. Again, as you do that, let me go and grab this. Right click, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna get to the SSH here on putty. I'm gonna do CD slash, and I think I made a mistake there, double slash, but again, one slash. And as you can see, we got the config folder already set there. So that automatically done, it will do it automatically. You don't have to do it yourself. And you need this to change the YAML file. Again, I'm going to show you in a few minutes. Right. Once you are on the stack, what you want to do, you paste the code here and make sure you're happy. You got everything run. Okay. Everything here should be okay. You just need to change this part with your 
information. And once you do it, you deploy the stack. ESS update the stack, but when you create a new stack, let's go back here so you can actually see it. Add stack. Again, this is the latest version of Portana. As you can see here, you got deploy the stack, and that's all you want to do. Once the stack has been deployed, you will find it inside the container up and working as it is here. Okay. All you got to do is click on the 3000, and this will open. That is as simple as that. Now let's go back to the page. Now, as I said, guys, to change this, the background, everything can be done inside the YAML file. You find few YAML file in the config files there. Let me show you here, uh, sorry, uh, config folder. So if I'm going to do LS, you can see we got bookmarks, we got Docker, we got services, we got settings, and we got widgets. Now we go with our, so we're going to do sudo, for example, nano, and I'm going to do widgets first. Once I do that, so I'm going to do the password. And as you can see here, we got in the widgets, we got the CPU true, memory true, and the disk as the root. The provider is Google, and the target is blank, meaning you know, once you click on, on top of it, you get redirected into a new tab. As you can see, this is Google there. Now, if you want to change it, you can change Google to uh, something different. So let me go here. Um, I think we got, uh, let's see if we got Yahoo here. I'm not sure if we got also Yahoo. Let me go back here. Yahoo. Let me do this. Control. X, Y, Z there. Let's have a look if that changes. Now we got Google there. Now it doesn't come up at all. So that's totally gone. So perhaps Google is not available. Let's go. Uh, sorry. Yeah, who is not available? So this is the way you do it anyway. Uh, let's go back to Duck, Duck, Go, I think. I'm not sure if it's correct. The spelling X, Y, and usually it does uh, up, up, you know, update instantaneously, as you can see. And there we go, the duck, duck, do actually works. So as you can see, open as a blank, so in a new tab. And as you can see, that works okay. I'm closing this one. I'll go back to the YAML file. I'm going to go and change again to um, Google. Control X again. Yes. And that's it. And now this one should go to Google again. Let's go. And as you can see, it is Google. All right. Now let's go have a look at these three part of the widgets. So we got CPU, we got the RAM, and we got the disk. Okay. So let's go back here. Again, sudo. So we got CPU true, memory true, and disk, whatever. So I'm going to say now memory false. I'm going to save that. And now the memory should go once I click inside here. And as you can see, perfectly working, done in no time. So this is how easy it is to config the actual dashboard, okay? Now, let's go back on the, on the groups and everything. Let's remove this one here. True again, Control X. Uh, yes, I think it says yes there. Here we go. So now we're going to uh, look at the settings, for example. So as you can see, we got the provider, the open uh, weather map. Again, you can put weather here, okay? And then the weather API if you want to add the API. And I'm going to show you as well how you do it with the other uh, widgets, okay? Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. If you go back and exit this one here, widgets, as you can see here, you can actually add more information, okay? All the information you need, by the way, is here, okay? Um, again, there is many other places you can actually have. Um, uh, let me go, for example, your Noxy Project, Search Bar Widgets, uh, we got translations. There is a lot of things you can actually grab and just copy and paste. That's how simple it is. I think I already got it somewhere, but uh, let me have a look inside here. So I know I am, uh, I don't remember this now. Let's do LS again. So those settings, let's do uh, services. 
and there we go we got the first group we got the second group and we got the portainer and uh, the portainer is is this one here so this is the group one and two and three so when you click on this one it doesn't go anywhere but let's say i want to go to portainer all i want to go to do is now just copy this um, url let's go back here let's go back here no actually i got it already got here portainer so why is it not working? Uh, 192167. Now it looks okay. So why is not open in a new blank page? Have I got something? So anyway, this is the way you do it. And you can change my first group, second group, by just uh, changing this one here, for example. So everything gets uh, automatically displayed. As you can see, portrait on my third service. So let's go here. There are some bugs. Uh, then I still believe some of the stuff doesn't really work properly. Um, so second group there. Let's call this one also dashboard, for example. Control X, Y, and then let's go back here. And as you can see, that's been automatically updated. Again, same thing on this one. So those are the bookmarks. Let's go back on this. And as you can see, we got the bookmarks here. And if you want to add bookmarks, it's very simple, guys. All you got to do is just copy, technically just copy that and change this to, for example, three. Uh, Twitter, you can say, let's say Yahoo. Again, anything you really want. Let's say one there. And you say yahoo.com. Control X, Y, and press enter. And we should have an extra entry on here as you can see again when you put more it will shrink this reason one is the maximum thing is four and after it's going to do another line the more you add the more is going to shrink up to four columns okay so if it's only one it will be one column and it will ex expand to the full maximum of this this is how simple it is really and you can do a lot of things if you go back to this one here for example you can have um let me go back on this one here, see if I can find it. Uh, again, some of the links doesn't work. Let's go back to the home page, as you can see here. I'm having an issue. There's no problem with the actual code, but the links doesn't work. But if you go on the bookmarks, with exactly the same thing, same way of doing it, um, as you've seen it before, as you can see, it does open up to Reddit and Twitter, again, YouTube, and I believe Yahoo also works and yeah it works okay that there's no problem whatsoever I don't see the reason why this one they're not working perhaps these are narrow there a bag I don't know but at this moment as I am installing this version is not working properly um, you can do more research if you need to on the actual page that I'm gonna link it before again let's go this one here uh, let's go to discussions Again, here you can find a lot of information and uh, you can find the widgets if you want to. Let's have a look here. We go on bridge, media widgets. Again, this is the actual discussions, all right? This is not the issues. Uh, any problem, you can go to the issue and have a look at there. Any information that you may need or help you may need. Bit time there, be pi hosted. Docker integration via socket, through NAS, again, you can do a lot of things here. There's a lot of integration, and it's all about copy and paste, right? Here, as you can see, you got feature request um, for speed test, for example. Again, it's all about uh, copy this one here, and what you want to do, do you want to change some of your uh, information to reflect your server, for example? And that's how it's easy, to be honest. Uh, that's is all it's all about and you can put anywhere by just modifying as i showed you earlier on some of those files that you can find here the bookmarks the docker the service i haven't shown the uh docker so what you want to do the first thing you want to do you just go to docker yaml file and make sure you got i will leave the port as it is 2375 the 9000 you see here is the portainer it's not the docker okay so leave that if you haven't changed it, it's 2375. All you want to do is just put the uh, IP, okay? Also, the socket, leave it as it is. Usually, it's done automatically for you. 
okay that's all you really need to do guys so guys thanks again for watching this small tutorial um i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you know any other script you want me to show you how to install it i'm going to look into it so guys just leave any information you want to know in the comments below if you want to see anything else please again don't forget leave a comment and i will look at it so guys thanks again and i'll see you next time